Well, what's up guys, Jordan here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can transfer your entire iTunes library from one PC or Mac to another PC or Mac. So the first step you need to do is you need to go to your iTunes preferences and then go over to the advanced tab. And there's two things that we're gonna look at here. Uh, the first being that you need to find out the location of your iTunes media folder because that's actually what we're gonna be copying to uh, the new Mac or PC that we're gonna be transferring this iTunes library to. We're gonna be copying the media folder. So you wanna know where it is on your computer, obviously. Now, the second thing that we're gonna look at is this option down here that says copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to library. So this will ensure that any files you add to the library from here on out. So if you download some from the internet and it's in your downloads folder, you add it to the library, it'll be copied to the media folder because otherwise iTunes would just be accessing it through the downloads uh, the downloads folder. And when you copy the iTunes media folder thing, you're copying everything in iTunes to your new computer, it actually won't be copied. So you wanna make sure that you check this. So from here on out, any songs that you add to iTunes will always be added to the iTunes media folder. But then you can just click okay once you've checked that off and then go up to file library and then organize library and now we're going to finish consolidating uh, the itunes library uh, check consolidate files and this will put copies of all the media files used by itunes in the itunes music folder and it also leaves the original files in their current location so if you downloaded a bunch of songs from the internet and they're in the downloads folder those songs will still be in the downloads folder but they'll also now be in the itunes music folder and you also want to reorganize the files in the folder itunes music check that off because itunes used to put movies tv shows podcasts audiobooks ringtones and so on and so forth all under music which made it a little confusing because you had like tv shows right next to uh some artist with a t name uh so it yeah definitely check reorganize files it just makes it a little bit simpler when you're uh working with the itunes media folder and then you just go ahead and click ok so now once your consolidation and reorganization of your iTunes library is all completed, the next thing you need to do is open up your external hard drive that you're going to be using to back up your iTunes library. Go to wherever you're going to be backing it up, create a new file entitled iTunes, then open up a new finder window, go to music, and then iTunes. And if you're on a PC, just remember that location that we saw in preferences. That's where you're going to be going right now to find your iTunes media. And here is our iTunes library. You'll see some things you recognize like uh, Genius, uh, Album Art, iTunes Music, which is actually now iTunes Media. And we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, you see previous iTunes libraries. And this file right here actually holds all the play count and information about all the different songs. Anyways, let's peek into iTunes Music, which is actually iTunes Media. It might be called that on your computer. And it is now all organized. It used to be that it was all music. All the different artist names would be in here along with folders for your podcast, ringtones, TV shows. But now they put everything that refers to music in a music folder and they reorganized it. So now you may have a couple uh, reorganization things that you have to do manually. I had a few artists that I deleted from the iTunes player, but I hadn't deleted from the iTunes uh, media folder. So they were still in here and they weren't organized into music. So you may have to uh, do a couple little manual tweaks, either delete them or add them into music manually. But besides that, uh, iTunes does a great job automatically organizing them. So anyways, what we're going to be doing is we're going to copy these four items to the iTunes folder on our external hard drive. And then these last two, we're, I'm not going to uh, back up or transfer previous iTunes libraries because I just really don't need them. Uh, there's a couple in here from 2008. You can if you want to, but personally, I'm not going to. So highlight these and drag them on over here into iTunes. And depending on how large your library is, it could take um, from just a few minutes up to hours and hours. Mine will probably take about an hour, yeah, uh, 52 minutes. So I'll come back in about an hour on my iMac 
where we'll transfer this content uh, to my iMac or restore it from the backup. Okay, so here we are on my iMac and we're now all ready to transfer slash restore from the backup of the iTunes library. Now, the first thing you need to do is make sure that iTunes is closed. So if it isn't already, go ahead and quit iTunes. Then open up a new finder window and go to where your iTunes folder is located on the current computer that you're on. Then open up your external hard drive or whatever you used to back up your iTunes library and open up the iTunes backup on the external drive. Now, drag over these first three items, then hit apply all and replace. Then select these bottom two items and drag them over, apply all, replace. Now, the next thing you need to do is open up your iTunes media folder on the current computer that you're on and then open up iTunes Music or iTunes Media in the backed up iTunes library. Then select all the media files and drag them on over into iTunes Media on the computer. And then select replace. And then it will copy over all of your iTunes Media files and transfer them completely over to the new computer. And once this is complete, you have completely transferred your iTunes library. So here we are on iTunes, and the first thing I want to point out is all your metadata is right here. All your ratings, play counts, last time you played it, everything's right here. All your music, movies, TV shows, apps, everything in the library right here. Also, all your genius mixes, genius playlists, and your regular playlists are all right here. Everything in the library is exactly how it was in your previous iTunes library before you backed it up. 